Obliterators. What are they? Well, in the context of this video, I'll be talking about the units from the game Warhammer 40,000. These, quite frankly, are really good units. They have an incredible amount of mobility for the firepower they can put out. Now, there are three generations of this model. There is the current one that came out, I believe, in 2018. And there is the fine cast version that is older. I don't know how old. There's another one, but we don't talk about it. I managed to get my hands on two fine cast models off eBay for around $20, albeit they're painted Death Guard. Now, here's the thing. Most people that you ask will give you an unsavory opinion about the fine cast models. Now, almost every opinion you get from them will essentially boil down to, Ew! That looks gross! That looks like my left testicle after it got hit with a baseball bat! And to some extent, they're right. It looks like a damn joy mutant. But, that's not the model's fault. You see, Games Workshop painted it wrong. This is what the original art looks like, and as you can tell, the fine cast is the closest looking, but they got the fucking color wrong. So I set out to fix that, and do a little converting while I'm at it, with these Iron Warriors obliterators. Now to begin, I first needed to get the original paint job off, so I used acetone. Now, you're going to want to be careful with acetone, because if you're not, you can melt parts of the model. You probably shouldn't use this method, but I did. After scrubbing the models clean, I was left with pinkish gray models. I don't know if this is just something that the acetone does to the plastic, because I've had this similar result before, or if this is just the remnants of another layer of a shitty paint job, but I had these. Now, as you can tell, I've done a deal of kid bashing to this, the most obvious of which is the new heads. I carved out the originals, and I managed to keep one intact enough to reuse it on the Lucius the Eternal build. These are Mark III Iron Warriors heads you can get off Forge World. In addition to that, the model came missing a few pieces. It seemed both models were missing the gun bits on their more melee-oriented hands, so I glued on a 30k and 40k era plasma gun barrel. Additionally, one model was missing a gun bit on its gun-oriented arm, which I replaced with a melt-a-gun barrel. That same model was also missing a bit of cabling that runs under the arm, so instead of adding new cabling, because I tried that and it didn't work, I added the drum from a heavy bolter. And I ended up really liking it, it added a great deal of individuality to it. Aside from that, later on after the build, another spiky bit off of one of the melee arms broke, so I replaced that with a thinner, but more detailed spiky bit. And then finally, once again on the heavy bolter drum guy, he lost a spike from his melee arm, so I gave him part of the crab arm that I think comes on a greater possessed. I then gave him the standard lead belcher knockoff spray paint coat, and we were good to go. For the armor and guns, they got the standard Iron Warriors paint job, and then for the fleshy bits, I started with a pink and layered up to a vibrant reddish purple. Finally, I closed the whole thing up by giving it a coat of gloss spray paint, which made the metal look shiny and the flesh look especially wet and bloody and sinuous, and it's just gross, and I love it. These are what I ended up with. Must obliterate. We must kill. Enemies. We need enemies. Take us to battle. That is the way to hell. Destroy! Destroy! We will strip the flesh from them!